Hey, what's up guys? It's me, King Epic. I hope you guys are doing great. So today I'm going to be talking about Rise of Civilization. It's an RTS game that I play mobily and also sometimes on my computer, even though computer really sucks. Um, anyways, uh, I'm sorry I haven't been doing videos. I haven't been streaming. I don't personally want to play Battlefront right now until updates drop. Um, I'm waiting for Red Dead Redemption and Battlefield 5 to drop so I can actually play them and stream them. So... I figured why not do tips and tricks on a game that doesn't have that many YouTubers and a lot of people are seeking for tips, guides, and everything. So why not I give them to that? Well, <laughs> give that to them. So um, today I'm going to be doing uh, Commanders. I'm going to be talking about um, some of my favorites and also I'm going to be talking about the best attacking ones, the best defending ones, and just the, in general which ones... you. Everybody can basically get these heroes even if you pay to get them or if you... Um, just simply just free to play it's all about what you do in the game honestly you get these legendary heroes from a gold chest but if you grind events you grind these things you can get at least two to three gold keys a day usually and um you know it depends on how lucky you are some of these heroes like julius caesar and cleopatra right here julius caesar and cleopatra i've gotten these heroes for for basically free because i just opened up my free uh gold chest per day well, not per day, per two days or whatever. So, you know, it's very dependent on what you do. Now, I wanted to say this real clear. Um, in terms of epic heroes, epic heroes are in regards to what civilization, like let's say you get this guy, it's dependent on which civilization you choose. I'm sorry, I froze. It's dependent on which civilization you choose. So, you know, you can get Scipio, Herman, um, I, I goes on and on. It's all dependent on which hero you first start off with, like which civilization you do choose. So I will suggest if you do choose one of these heroes, you try and get these heroes as high as possible if you know you're not going to be opening up a lot of gold chests. So with me, I had started off as Rome and I had gotten Scipio, but I had gotten Moto since I did like a recharge. The recharge gives you, you know, heroes. And I got this guy and I was like, okay, I'm instantly going to level him up. So it's all dependent on what you do in the game, how much you spend sometimes, sometimes. Um, so regardless, let's get into it. We're going to go into attacking first. I'm just going to name them down the list. I will go later on in depth in another video on skills. I'll go in depth in skills on each hero. I'd rather do videos like that rather than doing a 20 minute video. And you guys are like, what the heck? I, I don't want to watch a 20 minute video. So my favorite heroes right now for attacking is Frederick the first Julius Caesar Sun Tzu. If I say these names wrong, I'm very sorry. Um, Sun Tzu, Lancelot, even though I currently only have him at level 15, I'm still going to be leveling him up. It's just I've been grinding out Sun Tzu and Julius Caesar. I just got Julius to uh, 30, so Sun Tzu's next. Excuse me. Um, Lancelot. And in terms of other heroes, I personally don't use the other heroes right now. I forgot to mention, I will not be talking about Yi or Richard the First because of the fact that I'm in Kingdom 35 and they're actually not um, in gold chests to get. So it kind of sucks. Sadly, we can't get these heroes. I don't know. And I'm trying to still confirm if they if they're even a, a bit of a chance I can get them. But if there's not, then I, you know, I will update this later on in the future. So these are my favorite attacking heroes. Um, honestly, if you talk about Sun Tzu, he's an amazing, amazing epic hero to use versus uh, attacking and defending. As you can see, each hero does have their little buffs that they have. And, you know, if you go into their skills and everything, you can see which ones will actually do a lot of damage, both offensively and defensively. Um, someone like Lancelot is an amazing hero. He's an, a rare hero. It's really easy to get this guy through silver uh, chests. And personally, with me, I have over 265 sculptures of him. If you really do want to see it, it's right here. Over 265 sculptures of him. I'm going to be able to get his uh, two other skills up. It's just I currently don't have um, the XP books to just get him all the way to 30 if I really wanted to. Um, anyways, in terms of heroes to pair with here pairing heroes in this game is not oh i have the I have you know a level 40 frederick and a level 40 city keeper i'm gonna pair them all the time that's not how this game is this game is very dependent on situations like for example two i believe it two days ago 
I faced someone with 182k T4 uh, cavalry, and I decided I was going to send Frederick the First and my city keeper instead of sending Charles Martel and Sun Tzu or Charles Martel and city keeper. Um, the reason why I'm saying why I'm like why didn't I send these guys is because it's 182 T4 cav. You don't send just any hero. He's not see. You know, I'm not attacking a city or pass or anything. You need to make sure that you're actually sending the right heroes that counter other heroes. Now, Charles Martel and Sun Tzu, for example, they're infantry heroes. Infantry counters cavalry. So I made that mistake yesterday. Well, two days ago of using these two heroes together, where I should have you combined, you know, City Keeper and Charles Martel or Charles Martel and, and Sun Tzu against certain situations like for example someone that you want to use all the time versus you know barbarian forts or um just barbarians in general is moto moto is a great attacker he can also be used you know versus other people but moto is main is just absolutely beast he has a skill that mainly targets barbarians so it's like you kind of want to make sure you use him for that barbar for barbarian forts or for you know just in general just use him towards barbarians but he can also be used towards offensive reasons defensive reasons i don't see that really um he doesn't really have he's more of like just one of those people that he just wants to attack all the time so you know in terms of that make sure that you choose the right heroes per situation now i'm going to talk about defense real quick some of the best defensive heroes, and I don't know why I've been hearing some people have been underrating City, City Keeper, but if you really think about it, City Keeper is probably one of the best due to the fact that if you get the right talents for him, you give him defensive talents and everything, he will become an absolute monster defensively. Um, in terms of offense, you can use him offensively, but he doesn't really have those offensive boosts. Um, but he is an amazing hero to have as defense. And the main reason why is because of the fact that he's a common. These are It's so easy to get his sculptures. It's so easy to just get sculptures to then exchange for, you know, more sculptures for him. And it's easy to get his skills up. This is someone that you can easily get out of silver chest or anything. And you can stack him up really quickly. When I didn't level this guy up and he was level one, I already had like 200 sculptures of him just from opening up silver chest. So you got to think about it sometimes you know it's all it's not all dependent on these legendary heroes legendary heroes are great but if you're not going to be paying money basically to be opening up these gold chests and getting their skills up all the way maxed and everything there's no real point in always focusing on these legendaries now i will say this as a key factor if you do get these legendaries level them up it's important to level them up i don't know why people um like i've seen i don't know why people decide they get a legendary hero and leave them at level one because they have a better hero. You're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to use that legendary hero to his full capacity, even if it does take more to level them up. It's a cheap tactic to use, you know, um, these little epic or common heroes. But at the same time, if you could level these guys up, you will become very strong and you, your army in general can start fighting other, other armies that, you know, players pay for and basically... It goes on and on. I just wanted to make sure that people understand that um, if you get these heroes, don't leave them at level one. I've seen a lot of people leaving these heroes at level one, and it's it's just not good. Um, someone that's great on defense as well, and I know I kind of strayed off that, is Charles Martel. I love this guy. I can't wait to get him to level 40. Um, personally, getting him to a fifth star, I don't know about that because... Right now, it takes over 200 gold stars if you don't really... Well, it's like 200 plus gold stars. If you don't really get crits, you can get the fifth gold star. But it is absolutely a pain. <laughs> a pain to get these these stars maxed out. It's insane. It's all for just for skills too. I mean, talents. Um, Now, I wanted to say this as well. Cleopatra, you, even though she has this skill over here, use her as a gatherer. She's best for gathering. <laughs> Don't try and make a hero that doesn't, you know, tie. you can use a hero that has like a combination of both, but try and focus on the heroes that, you know, you know, you can make them a killer or a defensive monster. Try and try and do that. Um, now, in terms of uh, some other heroes, if you see them that they're like level 20 or whatever, I haven't been focusing on them. Um, but there's heroes like Cleo, um, Sarka, Ga Gaius, um, Joan, what is this chick, 
Constance, whatever. Um, I haven't used this guy really, Centurion. These guys are mainly for uh, gathering. Now, I will say the one that can actually be um, more of an offensive hero and you can combine them really well is actually Joan. Joan is amazing. If you actually get her skills up, she heals. She's a great support hero. Um, so definitely try and make sure that if you do have Joan and you know you want to use her offensively as well, level her up. I mean, I haven't been getting sculptures of her that much, but um, you know, if you do have the sculptures, you do have the levels for her, use her. She's really good. Um, in terms of these other epic heroes, like I said, I don't currently use them or need them. I feel like right now it's a waste for me to just use my a uh, my XP books on them right now because I don't need them. I have a current good squad right now. I will say this though, I'm currently trying to get some of these heroes up to 30. Like I'm going to get Sun Tzu up to 30, Sao Sao to 30, and Lancelot and El Cid to 30 because of the fact that I know I need more heroes in general for more armies and everything in the future um someone that i haven't talked about sadly is hannibal hannibal's amazing he's a he's an attacker he's a support hero only thing is you need to get this guy at vip 10 which then i think you have to pay for a hundred i think it's a hundred dollars you pay to get that special chest which i will show you right here is uh Right here, you have to pay basically to get to VIP 10 just so you can actually pay to open up this special privilege chest, which then you will get the actual uh, sculptures for him. So I just wanted to show you guys that right now that you can't just get the, you know, for, for him, if you want to summon him, it says VIP 10 to 14. But in terms of someone else like uh, like Moto, you can't get these certain heroes by by doing that you have to get in order to level him up you have to buy chess in order to level these guys up it actually does tell you you know tavern expedition universal sculpture so well um i just wanted to say that guys that you know i i'm doing a brief overview i'm not going to go fully in depth on these heroes i feel like the video would be too long hopefully this video isn't actually uh too long right now but yeah I'm going to keep it like that. I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, if you have questions, please comment down below. Um, and I will also be uh, putting in a comment, right? You know, like I'll pin the comment. I'll say the list of best attacking, best defending, and then, you know, a combination of both. But like I said, in terms of combining heroes, it's all dependent on the situation. That's why I didn't fully talk about combining heroes right now but once i go into in depth on each hero i will probably tell you guys the best pairs for them so have a great day guys i hope this video was entertaining at least of me just talking and telling you guys tips and tricks on the heroes in the game have a good one i'll see you guys later and peace out